busted murderers. We've taken down cartels. But today we face the worst New York has to offer. The fire department. Fire Marshal Boom. We meet again. Detective Peralta, your fly's down. It made you look. I didn't look, and I'm wearing shorts. There is no fly. That's not what your mom said. You make no sense. And now I'm inside your head. Prepare to die. Blue 52! Choose the day every time. <laughs> you have one play. You give the ball to Jeffords, and he runs it in. I, I'd like to see you score one. Good, because you're about to see it. You're about to see it straight to hell. On high! Now, Terry! Now, cut back to uh, the Imperial Star Destroyer. Uh, Luke uh, gets a visit from, and we only show this from the boots up first. So we show these like black boots with the, and then we pan up and, oh my God, it's Han Solo. But he's old, older and grizzled and, and really like focused and cool. Like he's seen some really bad stuff and he actually seems shaken. And, and Luke is like, what's wrong, old buddy? And that's when Han drops Chewbacca's severed head onto the floor. Yes, in front no of all the Padawans. Way. Kids are on the like floor this. in front of the Padawans. Kids are not Please let me finish. Thank you. The Padawans are all horrified, and uh, 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 Han says that the planet Kashyak has been destroyed by this very mysterious force. Now we know, oh, this was Thanos. Thanos is beginning to, uh, you know, uh, gather power in this new universe. So uh, while they take Chewie's head down uh, to, because we've seen that, you know, they can build new bodies. They're gonna build Chewie, this really cool robot. I, I'm thinking spider body, you know, like a cool spider body with Chewie's head and, and ion cannons on it. But that will be in the, he'll come back. That'll be the, the post credits tease of this film, so keep that in mind. So I don't want you guys bummed out because Chewbacca's not dead. He will come back. Uh, then uh, and then Han all and then Luke looks down and, and Han's wedding ring is gone. Hey, what happened with you and Leia? And Han's like, don't even get me started on that. So now we don't. Where, where did Leia go? Where did Leia go? She's not gone, but we will find out. In the second. female part's now, a little underwritten whole, so far, sir. I'd like to point that out. I am I have citizen filibuster. Thank you, and and really thank you for respecting uh, our town laws by interrupting me during this. Uh, where was I? This yes. Exactly then why we need at to the then at the edge of the uh, of the Star Destroyer's orbit, suddenly the time ribbon begins uh, wavering, and what comes through? The X Men's Quinjet. That's right. We what we did was back on Earth. We showed him gathering up all the heroes, but we didn't see him gathering up the X Men. So oh my goodness! Now Wolverine's going to be there. Now Cyclops going to be there. So the Quinjet comes through. Luke gets in his X wing to go out and meet them, and they engage in this awesome star battle. And it looks like the Quinjet actually is going to shoot. Luke down and suddenly this volley of lasers comes in and 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 what comes flying in is we Robot think it's going to be it, it we think it's going to be the Millennium Falcon just like in episode 4 when he comes in and saves him uh, during the battle of Yavin but no it is slave 1 that's right Boba Fett ship ship slave 1 has to save Luke because of course he's trying to track down Han he can't have Luke die so then now it's a battle between the Quinjet, between the X-Wing, between Slave One, and then uh, we see that Millennium Falcon uh, is flying away. So uh, now um, Slave One goes off to do, to do that. But then, then we cut down to Corsican, where uh, uh, Princess Leia uh, is now consulting with, um, uh, with Lando Calrissian. Now it looks like they're just having a very intense meeting about trade regulations and about I will not I will not finish my speaking about trade regulations and 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 but then suddenly once when the rest of the council meeting leaves they fall into each other's arms. Oh my God, Lando Calrissian and Princess Leia are having an affair, and that is why Han Solo because look. Lando Calrissian was like, hey, if I'm gonna lose the Millennium Falcon to you, I'll just take your woman, and he has. So then we set that triangle up. Now, 
cut back to the Quinjet, and Reed Richards from the Fantastic Four is piloting it. Oh, it was a fake out. He, it's him, and we have uh, select members of the X-Men that I thought, in, in my opinion, were, um, were not uh, focused on properly in the earlier films. We have Colossus in there, we have X-23, uh, which is Wolverine's daughter, and then we have a now mind-controlled Sabretooth, and of course Wolverine. So imagine those two going up against Robot Chewbacca, because that's gonna happen. That is what we're teasing right now. I have literally have no fluid in my mouth. I gotta do a Marco Rubio, can we please cut? Attention everyone, I've got the new music teacher here. So start getting to know him by, uh, you know, telling him about yourself and all your hardships. Pump the brakes here, hell on wheels. Songbird can carry his own tune. It is happening at long last. We are being undercover boss. What does that mean? That means whoever tells Durbin the biggest sob story gets a cash prize. One of us is getting $20,000, but you gotta pretend like you don't know it's him. <laughs> My face hurts. <laughs> Steph Duncan, history. This is Joseph Teagues. Oh. And he's left-handed, and that's why we know that he's so creative. Hey, uh, JoJo. And I've danced with lady music in every dress she can wear. Oh. Saw a lot of naked ladies with the boys and they might be giants and banged a lot of they might have been giants with the bare naked ladies. <laughs> you name a song, I've played it. Piano All man. All that stuff. You know, and I'm still grateful. What are you grateful for, Steph? Oh, plenty of things. Unlike the orphans that I take canoeing, you know, my dream is to take them to Disney World and let them ride the log flume, the world's best canoe. But that'd be like, 20K. That's gone up. Well, righteous buzzkill about the uh, orphans not having any rents. I mean, did you uh, recall a particular orphan that maybe talked about wanting to eat a ton of shrimp? Helen! There you are! Is this the man who's gonna be replacing me? 16 years and I gotta hear about it in the hallways? Damn it, I forgot to give Trudy the heads up. I'm gonna set myself on fire. Okay, oh, hey, listen, I'm not into that, all right? Self-immolation is a JoJo no-no, so I'm I, I'm gonna go talk to this cool cat, Durbin, and I'm gonna stone cold resign. And, and then I'll, I'll leave through a different door, so you'll probably never see me again. So, uh, you know, remember, you can lick the devil's candy, but don't get in his van. <laughs> 